Hey guys, welcome back. I have a super special video today, and that is how I do facial mocap using an iPhone and lump it on my Vibroid avatar. So as you can see, I can do some cute faces so I can go like, hmm, 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 hmm. And I can go like this, where I stick my tongue out and go, ah, ah. And then I can make like this face and, mm, mm, smug and slump. And then, um, I can also do this. So, if you like any of that and you want your viewer to do it, then stay around for this video and I'm going to teach you exactly how you can change your facial expressions and do um, motion capture just like I am. So the first thing you want to do is go to the Luppet website and download Luppet off of Booth. Um, it costs about $60. Uh, you'll have to do a conversion from Yin. If you're not sure how to set up Luppet and all the likes already, then I actually have a tutorial video right here where you can learn all about Luppet and how to set it up and all this and that. I will be going over the iFacial mocap stuff here in a minute, um, which is the app that you'll use to do the motion capture. And I will do that as soon as we get the model all rigged up and ready to go. So this is a Luppet article about Perfect Sync. And Perfect Sync is basically when you use 52 different blend shapes on an avatar to do facial motion capture. And you're going to use that instead of doing audio based syncing for your lips and whatnot. Um, it's going to capture your entire face. So we have a nice little video here of this girl who's making her cute different little faces um, sticking out her tongue, just like I was showing you before. And um, we're going to be following an article right here, it's something called the HANA tool. And with HANA tool, we are actually going to create those 52 blend shapes that are missing um, on a V-Roid avatar. And you can even customize them a little bit. So I'm just going to walk us through this article and we are going to go through the process together today. So a keynote they want you to know before you get started is that you don't want to select delete transparent mesh when you're exporting your VRM model from Vroid. I know I usually recommend deleting the transparent meshes when you're trying to optimize your avatar for VR chat, but obviously this model is not going into VR chat. I would just recommend uploading a regular, you know, not optimized model um, that's made more for VTubing to Unity. So assuming that you have Luppet installed already, then come over and download Unity 2019.2.4. All you have to do is click download into Unity Hub and it should show up as one of your versions. You'll also want to come and download Uni VRM, which is how you upload a VRM model into Unity. And I will be linking both of these in the description below. Go ahead and drag in Uni VRM, click import. Wait for that to load in. Now I'm also going to link the HANA tool and you're going to want to go to the site and just purchase that for about $10. So the version of HANA tool that you want to get is HANA tool V295 and you'll want to do this one that's VRM.unity package. So then go ahead and drag your model into the hierarchy and you will see over here that if we click on face, uh, we have a whole bunch of different blend shapes. And these are all just the default blend shapes that come with Vroid, but we are going to be expanding on that. So what we're going to do is come up to the HANA tool. We're going to go to Reader, and we are going to go ahead and select V11 underscore 2 female. If you had a male model, you would obviously click male. And for skin mesh render, we're just going to drag in face. Now we're going to go ahead and click Read Blend Shapes. Now this means that we have completed it. If you have any kind of other Japanese text pop up, that probably means you were using one of the wrong versions of the HANA tool reader right here. So just keep on clicking on different ones until you get one to work. Um, that was my problem when I first started this is the tutorial says to use 11 underscore three, but that did not work for me. So I did 11 underscore two and that worked perfectly fine. Now, if you come over to the blend shapes, you're going to see that we have all of these new blend shapes over here for a whole bunch of new facial expressions, which is really exciting. So now we get to start playing around with those and customize them. So now come back to the HANA tool and we're going to do Clip Builder. Go ahead and grab your model and drag it in up here and press Clip Build. Now that that's complete, we're gonna have a whole bunch of new blend shapes to go through. So find your blend shape folder right here and click blend shapes. 
and you'll see that now we have a whole bunch of different um, facial expressions that we get to work with. So now in the guide, they actually have you go in and manually fine tune some of these. So I'm gonna walk you through each and every single one of those now and give a few tips along the way. So the first change we'll want to make is if you come to eye blink right and eye blink left, you'll notice that the eyes on the model don't actually close all the way. So we're gonna fix that by coming down here, opening up the face blend shapes and locating right here where eye blink right is. So then we're gonna just move this down to zero and then find eye close right right here and do that one instead and then you're just going to repeat the same step for the left eye all right next we're going to go to jaw open and instead of having this unhinged absolutely terrifying terminator style robot face we are going to open the blend shapes and turn this all the way down to zero and we're going to go and do an ah uh, sound so let's find mouth ah uh, open that up all the way and then we can change the teeth and make them go up and down so we can do teeth lower down to hide those. And we can do teeth upper up to hide the top. Now mouth pucker by default, if we scroll down, is set to 50. So if you want this to be more intense or less intense, you can always drag it either direction. I personally like around 60. Now for squinting, you can see that it comes down pretty far. So we're gonna reduce this just a little bit. Um, maybe take it to 30-ish, I think is pretty good, but you can pick whatever you want. Now, the next thing we're going to check out is brow inner up. So you can see when I click that, her eyebrows go whoop, way up on her face. So we are going to uh, weaken this a bit and make it not so tall. Of course, that is up to you on how intense you want it. Um, I'm going to do something around 30 again. And then the eyelids, we're actually going to make those come up a little bit so that it's like she's actually raising her eyebrows and her eyelids get pulled up as well. So just come over to eye wide and I'm going to crank it up to about 25. Now we're going to fix the brows going down. Um, you can see that it sinks really low into her face. We can set brow down right to about 20. And then for our nuance here, we're going to scroll down to eyelid. Uh, let's see upper sorrow and we're just gonna crank that up to maybe about 20 as well and then repeat for the other eye now for brow outer upright you can see that this um eyebrow has now been pulled up so we're also gonna pull the eye up just slightly so let's go and find eyelid upper angry right and pull that up just a tad let's say 25 ish again and then we're gonna scroll up and do eye wide and bring that up just a tad as well. Now for our no sneer right and no sneer left, we are going to come down and just add some angry um, and sad on our squint here. So I'm gonna set to 30 for angry right and 30 for sorrow right. Now go ahead and right click and move your character to the side here and for cheek puff you'll see that the cheeks have actually swollen up um, which is super cute so this is what it looks like normally and then 50% is here and then you can make it even puffier if you want. I think that 50% is probably perfect so you can leave that but I do recommend going and checking and making sure it doesn't look too chipmunky. Now your model should be good to go so we're going to go ahead and click on it and then export using UniVRM. And also as a quick bonus, you can actually copy and paste all of these blend shapes that you've made to another model so that you don't have to do it all again. So you can do a Hannah tool, uh, copy shapes and clips, and you can do the original model and then a new model and then copy and you should have everything so that you don't have to do it all again. All right, so now that we've exported the model, we can go ahead and open the file folder, insert our new model that has been set up for perfect sync, uh, reopen Luppet, and then you should have your model here good to go. So go ahead and open it in Luppet and uh, I'll tell you what to do from there. All right, so by default, you are doing lip sync via your audio and um, just doing webcam uh, tracking right now. So what we're gonna do is we are going to download the iFacial mocap app, which you will have to purchase off of the app store and then come down here to tracking. Now we're going to do tracking by iFacial mocap. So click that. And then it'll say, type in the IP address displayed in iFacial mocap and press the link. 
So I am now opening the app on my phone, which will then display the IP address on the top of the phone that I can then type in into Luppet and then press link. So if for whatever reason, when you start tracking, your avatar is like leaning back or like over to the side or something kind of weird like that, you just scroll down and press look forward and that will recenter your model. Now, if you come down here to perfect sync mode, this is where the fun and the magic happens. So go ahead and press that. And now you're gonna see that my model um, is now gonna be able to make some of those fun faces from before. So let's go ahead and try the tongue out one. Lovely, looks like it's working. Now let's do maybe um, a grimacing kind of smug face. Oh, very nice. Now what about cheek puff? Also very cute. Yeah, so we've pretty much got everything working now. So there's a lot of different things you can do um, with the different facial expressions. And you can go in and customize everything pretty much to your liking as well, um, which is really nice. So now, yeah, you can do facial mocap with your V-Rain model. Um, I'd say if this is possible, anything is possible. So never stop believing in yourself in the future in uh, VTubing forever. Yep, that's right. VTubing forever. Woo! Let's go, baby. Hopefully that helps you guys uh, figure out how to do this. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, all that good jazz. And consider joining my Patreon to help support me making videos just like this. Also join my Twitch where I like to do VTubing just like this all the time. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Special thanks to this month's Patreon members and virtual VIPs, do tech. Klukalei, Lillian Sparks, Score Maller, and Top Waffle.